Hello Year 11, I'm Mr Blaney and I'm here to talk to you about Storm on the Island. Storm on the Island was written by James Heaney, a Northern Irish poet who won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1995. He often wrote about themes such as childhood, nature and particularly his homeland. This poem was published in 1966. In the poem, the narrator or speaker describes how community thinks it's well prepared for a coming storm. However, as the poem goes on, the confidence starts to disappear as the storm develops. The power and the sounds of the storm are described in detail. The end of the poem describes the fear as the storm hits the island. So here we go, this is Storm on the Island. We are prepared. We build our houses squat, sink walls in rock and roof them with good slate. This wizened earth has never troubled us with hay, so, as you can see, there are no stacks or stooks that can be lost. Nor are there trees which might prove company when it blows full blast. You know what I mean. Leaves and branches can raise a tragic chorus in a gale, so that you can listen to the thing you fear, forgetting that it pummels your house too. But there are no trees, no natural shelter. You might think that the sea is company, exploding comfortably down on the cliffs, but no. When it begins, the flung spray hits the very windows, spits like a tame cat turned savage. We just sit tight while wind dives and strafes invisibly. Space is a salvo. We are bombarded by the empty air. Strange, it is a huge nothing that we fear. So I think there are three really important things to look at in this poem. The first quotation that I would look at is the beginning of the poem. So we are prepared, we build our houses squat. You look closely at that use of we, the collective pronoun, really creates that sense of them being together and their confidence as they face the storm, of being prepared, of the houses squat and being able to get through this storm if they act together. However, as the poem develops, you start to see the fear build in. The second thing I would look at is the use of words that Heaney has to create the power of the storm. Words such as blasts, pummels, bombarded, suddenly the sound and power of the storm becomes really evident and you begin to see the islands as weak and powerless in the face of nature. Finally then I would look at the end of the poem. There's this ambiguous line of strange, it is a huge nothing that we fear. Now I think there's probably two ways that you could read this line. On the one hand he's suggesting that the storm is nothing to fear. They've actually made a bigger deal out of this in their head than they initially thought. The other idea is this thing of it being a nothing. It's the unknown, and that is what we actually fear when it's a storm, because it's something we can't fight back against, and we sit there powerlessly impassive as this comes across. Um, an interesting poem, and ones that you could probably compare it to in your exam would be Ozymandias, Exposure and the Prelude.